Hi, I'm Johannes Floathouse and I'm visiting the Artist Network Studios and we're doing a series of landscape paintings, two in oils and two in acrylics. And I have time to show you a quick demo on how to do a mass of trees or group of trees together. Normally it's a difficult thing that when you look at photographs or um, outdoor painting, many artists tend to repeat the forms of the evergreen trees over and over again. So I've come up with a simple technique so that you can avoid doing that. And uh, what you do is you start at the bottom and you very quickly paint all this in, variegating the colors. You don't even worry about the sides or the heights of the trees. Just group them all together like this. And that'll make you conscious to think that they should all belong in one group. See the subtle variegation of color in there? Okay, once you've done that, you pull from that and you start to work towards the top. Now I'm using the tip of the brush and I'm being conscious not to make too many bows because those zigzag lines are somewhat unpleasant for many viewers. So I'm pushing this against the bristles like a snow shovel, see? And I'm making a mental note that this tree has to have a certain width to it. And once I have that diameter, I don't want to repeat that elsewhere. So this one has to be either thicker or thinner than that one. Remember, we have to be conscious of these clones. Clones are a giveaway of artists that are not very well trained. And I always mention this to my online students. I make a reference to Goldilocks, Mama, Papa, Baby Bear. There's my Mama Bear. I'm going to put the Papa Bear evergreen tree. Sounds a little bit silly, but it sure works. They remember that. Okay, so we're going to change the color a little bit here. See, they're all mixing together. This one has to be much wider than the other ones. And if possible, you slightly variegate the colors. Make sure that your gaps are not the same. Check your negative space between them. And we're going to throw this one off into another color, just for interest purposes. Remember, as artists, you have to be creative and do things that people don't ordinarily see all the time. So we're going to put a, a dead pine tree in here. And those are very nice in landscape paintings. Look at that. It just brings the eye right there. And then you can just echo that a little bit over here, maybe. There we go. And let's not forget to put one in front of it. I always like to put little baby evergreen trees in front of the bigger ones just to create more depth. Think of it as a chessboard. You have your pawns, your bishop, your knight, everything behind. Some pieces are in front, some pieces are behind. There you go. Well, I'm not going to finish the entire thing because we have some filming to do with these longer videos that you can get. That just gives you an idea of the initial lay-in or block-in of these trees. And then you can just follow up and put some grass here or whatever and put your darks and your highlights and you're ready to go. Notice that nothing is repeated there, not even the negative space. Well, we hope that you can uh, join us on these online art classes that I give at improvemypaintings.com and also that you take some time and visit artistnetwork.tv and northlightshop.com.